Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today you will learn how to measure the ascites index on ultrasound. Ascites is the abnormal accumulation of peritoneal fluid in the abdominal cavity. This excess fluid usually appears anechoic on ultrasound. We can measure the severity of the ascites on ultrasound. The ascites index is helpful in measuring the severity of the fluid accumulation. We can start by dividing the abdomen into four quadrants. The probe placement and the quadrants are similar to a fast scan. The first one is right upper quadrant, which is the perihepatic space, the space around the liver. The second quadrant is the left upper quadrant, the space around the spleen, the perisplenic space. The third and fourth quadrants will be the right and left lower quadrants. This division is similar to the method we use in measuring amniotic fluid index in obstetric ultrasound. The maximum depth of fluid seen on ultrasound is measured in either millimeters or centimeters. The deepest measurement is taken in each quadrant with the probe in the transverse plane. Ensure the patient is in the supine position while scanning. To calculate the ascites index, we will add all the four measurements taken. Right upper quadrant depth plus left upper quadrant depth plus right lower quadrant depth plus left lower quadrant depth. This is the formula for calculating the ascites index. If the total sum of all four depths is less than 10 centimeters, then it is classified as mild ascites. If the total sum falls between 10 and 20 centimeters, it is considered as moderate ascites. In large ascites, the sum is greater than 20 centimeters. This index provides a rough estimate of ascitic fluid volume. Keep in mind that this method just gives an estimation of ascitic fluid volume. It is not an accurate method, but gives a good estimation about the severity of ascites. The ascites index may not correlate precisely with the actual volume of ascitic fluid. The patient's position, intra-abdominal pressure, or adhesions may affect ascitic fluid distribution in the abdominal cavity. Diagnostic paracentesis or a CT scan is more accurate in measuring ascitic fluid volume. Now we will look at some examples of ascites index calculation. The image on the left shows a shrunken liver with irregular margins, and it is surrounded by anechoic fluid this image is in the transverse plane. The maximum depth measured in the right upper quadrant, Q1, is equal to 8.6 centimeters. The image on the right is of the left upper quadrant, in transverse plane. This quadrant is also filled with anechoic fluid. The maximum depth, Q2, here is 13.3 centimeters. This image shows the third quadrant, Q3, the right lower quadrant, in the transverse plane. The maximum depth here is 10.2 centimeters. The fourth quadrant, Q4, is the left lower quadrant. Q4 measures 7.8 centimeters. Now we have four measurements, one from each quadrant, so now we will add all these values. 8.6 plus 13.3, plus 10.2, plus 7.8, which is equal to 39.9 centimeters. Since this value is greater than 20, so it is classified as large ascites. Now we will look at another example. Here, Q1 value is 5.5 centimeters. Q2 value is 8.1 centimeters. The right lower quadrant value is 4.4 centimeters, and the left lower quadrant measures 6.8 centimeters. By adding all four values, 5.5 .5 plus 8.1 plus 4.4 plus 6.8 is equal to 24.4 centimeters. This value is also greater than 20, so it is classified as large ascites. 
In this example, there is a small fluid collection outside the liver in the right upper quadrant. It measured 5.4 centimeters. No fluid was found in the left upper quadrant. So the Q2 value will be zero. No fluid collections were found in the left and right lower quadrants. So the Q3 and Q4 values are also zero. So a cytic index will be equal to 5.4 plus zero plus zero plus zero, which is equal to 5.4 centimeters. This value is classified as small ascites because it is less than 10 centimeters. This is how we calculate ascites index on ultrasound. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.